Oh, 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 that goes with uh, that one, and then, then we got this case over here that goes, and then this cord over here goes to that, and then that cord over here goes, oh, yeah, and, and then this cord, this cable goes into that one, and, and then we got, uh, uh, we're operating on the cameras here, and then there's the SD card there, and then, and this one's getting charged up here, and then, oh, no, oh, I don't know, Dave, I don't know, everything's all screwed up! It is! <laughs> I better go back into my home. Goodbye, Dave. Goodbye. Bye. All right. <laughs> Whew, what a day, huh? It is the 28th of, uh, I was going to say October. Uh, it would be nice to fast forward to October 2020, but I can't. There's no fast forward button on the year. It's still only April. April 28th. All right. This is uh, Pet Palooza. All right, Crouchy, thank you. Anyway, this is uh, Sandra's dog, Annie. Oh, what an adorable beast. And then this is uh, Eric's dog, Buddy. I, I hope we're getting it all right there. I, I forgot to turn that light out. I hope we're not getting glare there. Anyway, so let's go back. Yeah, there's the, there's there's Sandra's dog, Annie. There's, uh, there's uh, Eric's dog, Buddy. Wow. This is a Nut and Honey's dog, Peta. Pain in the... <laughs> 16-year-old rescue. And then we've got, finally, Mike's uh, motorcycle lady friend's lizard pets. So, all right. So we're going to do this a couple more days, all right? Camo Dave Saturday... Or there's a Camo Dave Pet Palooza. Right here on the Camo Dave channel. Send your uh, emails to camodave at gmx.com and include your pet. No, include your pet's pitch. Letters, 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 letters. And Marie writes, I think Eric Nomadic Fanatic should sell the Class A and buy a fifth wheel and park next to you know who. Well, we won't, we won't dox anybody, but we'll just say near Phoenix. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Rick G says, Line Screw left out one very important portion of his tour of his new fancy uh, apartment there that he's renting. Uh, he did not show the contents of his refrigerator. So Molson, is that, isn't that Canadian? Isn't that Canadian beer? Din Dog 22, a new squeaky cam. You're really stepping up in the world. Yeah, having a lot of trouble today. It's camera day here at the Camera Dave Show. Camera Dave, the Cameo Dave Show. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, okay, this is the duplicate to what I'm using right now. This, my friend gave me this, and it just, I don't know. I changed this, this stupid cards in it and the batteries, and it keeps locking up. This may have a defect in it. Then there's the squeaky cam here, which we've uh, already taken this SD card out and m messed with it. But yeah, the, the battery, the, the button back here is busted for good. And then we got the GoPro we're charging up just in case of an emergency. And then I got this camera here and uh, one on the way coming in the mail, a new one, a new one in the box. Ooh, I'm excited about that. So uh, I don't know, it's camera day here at the uh, Camo Dave show. <laughs> Debbie, are you going to go to the beet farvest and help Bob out? The beet far, the beet. Who does the beet harvest? Wasn't that, oh, that wasn't the beet harvest. That was either Brian Adventure Van Man or Wanderlust James, right? One of them did a beet harvest in like North Dakota. I think that was Wanderlust James, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Brenda says, one would think such a person would have simply come back with a video to clarify the remarks she made about minimum wage, minimum wage employees. I'm sure both she and people she loves have worked for minimum wage jobs. Even if I were doing a swan song video, I would style my hair, put my bling on and do it in complimentary lighting. I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, again, we look at you know whose video there from last week and we I think it was an easily fixable you know thing but you know you know you know you know uh, David Merling says I think you know who <coughs> you know who was actually happier when happier happier I'm talk, talk like Chicago happier when she lived in her van and traveled once she started staying in one place 
Uh, she said she was happier, but down deep, I don't think she was. Again, a lot of these folks, I really do think they are ha they are happier when they're traveling. And uh, that, I get the same impression absolutely. Jen D says, I used to subscribe back when you had four to 5,000 subscribers. I stopped watching because the people you cover are generally not, you know, yeah, whatever, you know, not terribly wonderful, but whatever. And mocking them is biting. They seem worse today. That being said, I'm glad that Line Screw One is still doing his thing. He is a bright spot. He is a bright spot here at the bottom of YouTube. Uh, Aaron says these van pooling freaks can't live on 1500 to 2000 a month without savings. I have a family of three. Uh... I'm living a pretty good life. Oh, he's Chinese or something. I'm living a pretty good wife, life eating Western food, condo, and other property payments on other country and small save on whatever. It's, uh, you know, that's a true nomad. Well, you know, I think you could live in a van on 1500 to 2000 dollars a month. Mo you know, that that shouldn't be uh, again. Do you are you making payments on the vehicle? You know, uh, I don't know. You know, do you have a lot of repairs? You know, do you want to, you know, got things you got to fix? I don't know. I don't know. Do I? Uh, Brenda says she works at a Walmart as a cashier and had to take a 14-day leave because she was showing symptoms. Thankfully, I tested negative. It, it could have been a lot worse, though. I started back this week and really feel like I risked my life and families. It's a very, very scary time. Absolutely. Brenda's there on the front line. You know what? You never would think retailers would be on the front line, people that worked in retail, but they are today. <laughs> Hot tub removal. I'm starting my own YouTube channel. It's called Van City Beg Life. All right, whatever. Man, oh man. William says, instead of uh, prepping, nomads should worry more about where their money is going to come from. It must not be easy with declining ad revenue. Maybe they should watch, okay, Cheap RV Living's Bob video about sign up for the North Dakota beer harvest. You mean beet harvest. I'd rather do a beer harvest. Uh, every sign up will get Bob a free, uh, get Bob a $50 referral fee. <laughs> is that true? Or are you making a joke there? I, I don't know. D who knows? <laughs> Edwin says, I'm pretty well prepped out, but low on gold. If anybody has extra, please send thanks in advance. <laughs> That's right. Money's going to be worthless, right? All that, all that YouTube dollars are going to be pretty worthless if the economy collapses, right? I don't know, man. Rex says, I should send, Dave, send your subscribers money. I don't know, man. What? <laughs> All right, everybody, that ought to do it for this edition of Letters and Pets and, and Cameras and whatever. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. It is uh, the afternoon show for the 28th of April, 2020. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Vlog under. See, Mike, this is the camera that every one of these cameras is screwed up now. This this one and that one and that one. I got it. Okay, ready? Press hard. Ready? Three. <laughs> Three. Three. Two, one. <laughs>